Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we are back to playing Golden Age Endless Dungeon. Uh, after attempting to tinker with the game slightly, <clears throat> I realized that there is no way to save, and so we will just be playing this all in one go. So let's turn on some music and get going to floor seven. So we got a new uh, floor. <laughs> new floor area. Oh yeah, I thought I'd read <clears throat> actually some of the journal uh, to start up. So, yeah, I've trained me in the arts of freelancers, borrowed one, oh, a sword, right, yeah. Although, the guy always has a spear. Well, I don't know. Um, I think the point, though, is that, yeah, okay, day some. D7, something is very wrong down here. There are far more monsters in this area of the catacombs than there ever have been before, and they're more aggressive than I've known them to be in the past. Between this rise in furies and the traps down here, it's been hard going, but I am determined to press on. Well, that's pretty funny, given that everyone other than this character has died quite miserably. There do appear to be some monsters driven up from the deeper levels of the catacombs, wandering closer to the surface. I've encountered and defeated several of them, and can attest to their power. There's also a tribe of what I can only tell, or I can only think to call lizard men, running around in the dark, communicating in grunts and showing more intelligence than anything I'd expected from a fury. These lizards are tough, and they seem organized. I can feel them watching me in the dark and following me as I travel deeper. Sometimes they set traps for me, striking large numbers and then falling back when I give chase. Of all the furies I've encountered down here since I began, I fear their, in cold, their cold intelligence far more than I do the strength of, or animal instincts of the others. Or the others. <laughs> I will need to be on my guard as I continue my journey. So yeah. So this is just another creeper. Creepers are kind of easy. Thank goodness, I guess. I think my dodge is going up and level when I level up too, so. That's cool too. Creepers attacking each other. Cats and dogs living together. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Anyway. So we got stuff here to pick up. A dark sword. That probably blinds. And then we got a Berserker's Ring that increases my damage. Wow, there's just a lot of creepers here. Do they just keep calling each other or what? Dash boots and the scout's helmet. It's a weird. It's a good thing I have this blood spear or else I'd be screwed. Jelly clip. Man, I have a lot of stuff, don't I? So, whoop, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I bet Scout's Ring increases my, uh, sight. Uh, Creeper... Oh, crap. They are killing each other, and it's... One of them is getting particularly powerful, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm just gonna have to try to kill him. Okay, good. Phew. And so we got a Spark Ring. Uh... Yeah, I don't really know what Spark Ring does. Pick up healing potion. Chaos staff. Oh boy. Okay. Calling for... Great. Oh man. These guys just multiply. It's crazy. Strength potion. Oh boy. Uh, let's find out if those are, are... Wow. Okay. So you can carry as much as you want. Power's up. Power up! I don't know if that... Uh, actually... Does... Man, there's a lot of these guys. I feel like I should just kind of sit around and, uh, you know, like, farm these guys. Spike Gauntlet, who cares? I think I already have them, right? Uh, yeah, I already have Spike Gauntlets. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Is there any other... No, it doesn't look like it. I was gonna say, are there any more? Okay, so... Dash boots are better, because they let me go faster. Overall, that will be more important. Another healing ring. That's kind of useless. It seems like having one of everything is all you really need. And it's like, I don't even have to worry about... Uh, what is this? A agility ring. That's cool. So is... Nope, nope. 
there's just so many of them, and they continuously multiply everywhere. It's kind of starting to get, become silly. Like, and when you have blood spear and healing ring, it's it's just not a big deal. Thief glove. Oh boy. Uh, so this probably means I get to steal the stuff. Maybe. If it has anything to steal, I guess. Which could come in handy for sure. Okay, man, they just... Ugh. On one hand, I want to abuse this as much as possible. Because, like... Yeah, this seems the best way to, to do it. Golden Harp. That's really weird. I think I'm just going to enjoy this. Uh... Man, I am just leveling up, aren't I? <laughs> Not even really paying attention, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if the strength potions actually do anything permanent, but I just... Am I losing armor when I do that? Or is that just a coincidence? I hope that's just a coincidence. Yeah, half the time these things start killing each other and it's it's a pain because they're a lot harder to kill, but Yeah. Uh, is that blood spear rather than what I have? Nope. Every calling for help all the time. Ugh. And then I'll come back here and there'll be like a billion of them. Well, maybe not a billion. I think I'm actually starting to kill them. Properly. So, oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not! I should definitely pay attention to my health, just in case. What do we got here? Another strength potion. Oh boy. Did I get them all yet? Nature clip. Steel armor. Whoa. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh yeah, I've just been removing the armor stuff slowly, so yeah. That has nothing to do with that. Frozen ring. Ah, ow, ow. That was silly, GH. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like there's any difference, but at the same time... You know, quaff these things, man. Um, and then let's see. Once more is the use button. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't stop. It's, it's been spending way too much time here, and it just keeps on getting more and more ridiculous over time. More and more ridiculous. Wait, I don't need that spiked gauntlet. I have so much stuff right now. It's it's kind of getting crazy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you know, they just don't stop. I don't know why I keep subjecting myself to this. Uh, chaos staff. Uh oh, oh boy, that one's actually kind of tough. Phew. That one actually took a lot of, to go down. Or maybe I just kept missing it. There's there's that possibility. A definite possibility. Huh. Right. So, I think I'm just going to leave this place. <laughs> yeah! Oh, whoa! Okay, um, let's go ahead and use a healing potion. Yeah, okay, there we go. A double spear? Does that mean I get to attack twice? That probably means I get to attack twice. Let's try it out. Um, I have so many things right now. Oh, let's see. Where's that double spear? There we go. So let's go ahead and try it. No, that seems to do absolutely nothing. Although it certainly works, I guess. There's a steel spear. That one's certainly better than what I'm wearing at the moment. But uh, the Blood Spear just seems to be overall better. Uh, let's go ahead and drop 
the other spears, I guess. Like that. That's just, that's just a crap spear right there, as far as I can tell. And, uh, the steel spear looks like it might have some potential. So, we will keep that one. And these are dash boots, and that, you see that right there? Right there. That's a trap. So we are going to ignore it. Kill that guy. You know, we got a spark ring. You know, I, I'm kind of tempted to see what the, the rings do. Drained. I just, I, that didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, just put on the healing ring. Freaking calling for help. Just never stops. Several items. Lizard book. Steel boots. That could be useful. Because... Yeah, right now I have dash boots. But if I get into a tough... Or a, a will appear to get into a tough battle, yeah, it's, it's a good way to go. Okay, that guy didn't actually check, so... Oh, wait, no. Yes, he called for help. Man, it's never ending. Shadows. Just kill the shadow. Yeah, okay, so... We just keep going down then. Keep going down, going down. If I'm lucky, there'll be there'll come a point where I can just kind of rush through. Uh, drink from the fountain. Hex, yeah. I guess I landed on a spike trap, so I need to kind of go and drink a lot of drink. Kill the jelly. Jelly's dead. Ow! I acid. Can't walk there, and you are a shadow. Okay. All right, good. Let's go ahead and try drinking more then. From the fountain of youth or healing. It's probably a fountain of healing. So you are one of those armor dudes, or a dread knight? Wow. Okay. The Dread Knight's Gladius slips from the Dread Knight's hands. Holy smacks. Okay, I can run away from this guy, so... Uh, let's switch to Frozen Ring. And, uh, Spike Gauntlet. And Iron Helmet. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So, the dude's slowing down. Oh, you do not... Oh, man. Alright, cool. And I updated the journal. So I guess that dude was actually a pretty nasty dude. So, that was journal-worthy right there, man. The Dread Knight. I was weary from travel and close to sleep when the monster set upon me, its dark, blood-stained armor almost invisible in the half-light. A swing of its large sword would have decapitated me if I hadn't moved fast enough, and yet it wielded as if it were light as a feather. Striking a blow that would have killed a man, I was shocked to discover that the armor was empty. S magical energy drove this abomination, and where flesh and blood should have, should have been, only air remained. Hammering it with blows, I finally managed to topple this strange assailant, but not before I had taken a severe beating of my own, and my hands ran slick with blood. Which I guess was his... her blood? Because... empty... Man, that's... that's kind of a nasty visual, just... Huh. Anyway. In the aftermath, I fell to my knees there, and then... and then... and gasped, panting for breath. Shaking from the suddenness of the attack and the speed with which it was over. Uh, just when I thought I had taken the measure of these ruins, they find new tricks and beasts to throw at me. A little bit of uh, choppy language there, but otherwise, you know, pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff. Alright, uh, let me just do a little off-screen thing to get my... Okay, I think I said back and it got cut off anyway. <laughs> Healing ring. Uh, pick this up. Let's try to kill this dude. Cool. So he's still attacking the jelly. Nice. Double spear sucks. Like, so much. <laughs> Why would that even be a thing? Dang. That guy had a lot of armor. So there's a trap. 
You can see it's a trap. So. I guess you could try to lure enemies onto traps when you know they're there. So there's a, a knight dude. Yeah, these guys aren't that bad anymore. Scout's helmet, don't care. Oh, this was a really small level right here. Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, I wish I knew what the, sh the weakened thing was. Makes me wonder if I want to stay or, you know, if I'm screwing myself. What what the heck is this? It's a bloody fountain. Great. Bloody fountains. What? Okay, so bloody fountains equal death. Dag, yo. Well, that's a, that's a roguelike for you. Just insta-killing you. Oh, whoa. I actually connected? <laughs> that's kind of um, funny. I didn't think I was going to. So I guess I'm like the only person that's been playing, or what? All-time high scores? Yeah, okay, there we go. So. Hmm. Oh man, total spoilers. <laughs> Look at that. Total spoilers. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah. I mean, it would be more of this. Um... Hmm. Well, right now I don't have time to play it. But, you know what? I will return to this game. Because it is interesting enough. And... Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll leave it at that for now. But uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. So, uh, in the meantime, this has been Game Hunter playing Golden Age, the Endless Dungeon. And you guys should just, you know, keep what you're doing with your roguelikes and take care.